Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be a continued study of arrays. We're going to talk about some common array methods known as mutators. Now when I'm talking when I say mutators, I mean that with these methods your original array will mutate, it will change. These methods will change the original array. This is different than accessors, which we're going to talk about in the next video. Those methods do not change the original array. They return a modified version of the array while leaving the original one intact which is generally speaking better in, the, in most cases. However, sometimes it's useful to be able to modify the array as it is. And we're gonna talk about those. So let's go ahead and make a new array. Let um, dogs equal Max, Sam, and Lila. So now we have this array of dogs. There's three items in it, Max, Sam, and Lila. The first array method we're gonna talk about is pop. Dogs.pop. And what this will do is this will remove the last item in an array and then return it. So if I let x equal dogs.pop and I pull x, it's Lila. It's this item right here. And now if I look at dogs, Lila is no longer there. So it removed the item from the array and returned it to me as x. If I didn't set this as a variable, it would have simply returned, removed it from the item and it would have been gone and I wouldn't, wouldn't have it back. I'd have to add it back manually. The opposite of this is array.push. So dogs.push and then you put in whatever you want here. You could put x or I'm going to put Lila like that. You'll notice it returned three, which is the length of the array after the push. Dogs, and I have those three back again. So it added Lila and x is still set as Lila, so I didn't do anything to that. And kind of the inverse of these is how to add and remove things from the front. Array.shift is how you remove things from the front. Array.shift. So let's x equals array.shift. Oops. x equals dog.shift. Dogs.shift. And it returned to max. So if I look at dogs now, there's only Sam and Lila. And if I look at x, it's set to max. And in order to add things to the front of an array, it is unshift. So dogs.unshift, I'm just going to do x this time, and this is the same, it returns the length of the array, and if I look at dogs, you can see that max is now added on back to the front. So now we've learned how to remove things from the front and the back, but how do we remove things from the middle? That is array.splice. Now splice has some interesting syntax to it, so look up, let's look up the MDN, array.splice. Splice method changes the contents of an array by removing or replacing existing elements and or adding new elements in place. In place meaning the original array. So here's the syntax. Let deleted items, so in other words it's going to return the deleted items, equal whatever your array is dot splice where you want to start, then optional number to delete, and then optional items to add on. So let's look at that in examples. Let's go ahead and clear the console. So we've still got our dogs array. The basic syntax is array.splice i for the index to start with, and that can be, again, anything you want. Delete count, in other words, how many do you want to delete? Then item one, item two, and you can do that however many items you want to add to it. So let's do this with dogs. Let z equal dogs.splice, and let's do one, one. Now remember, back in our, over here, our first item is where we're gonna start, so we're gonna start at index one, and we're gonna delete one thing. So let's go ahead and hit that, and let's look at dogs. It was Max, Sam, and Lila. Now it's Max and Lila, because it got rid of Sam, because Sam was at index one. And now let's look at Z, and Z is an array of Sam with one item. Notice it does not just return the one data type, it returns an array of that. We can also use ArraySplice to add items back in. So let's let a equal dogs.splice one, and then the second item is the number we're gonna delete, so we're gonna delete none. We're gonna add Sam back in there. I can't redefine a because I've already used a, so let's just do a equals dogs.splice, returns an empty array because nothing was removed, call dogs, and now Sam is back there in the middle. So notice what we did with Splice is we told it what index we wanted to replace, how many to delete. So since we passed zero, it just shifted everything to the right one. And then Sam is the value we put in there. You can also use Array.Splice to add multiple pieces of data 
into your array. So we could do dogs.splice, then we tell it where to start again, index, how many to delete, zero, and then add items. Bandit, Chloe, Georgia. So we're going to add three dogs. And do dogs, and you'll see that it added them starting at the first index, zero, one, two, three, and everything else was shifted down, was shifted to the right, was shifted later in the array. And we can do the opposite of that and remove them. So dogs.splice, starting at index one, we're going to remove three items. If we want to, we can set a variable equal to the return value. So now if it looks at dogs, we hit, we're back to Max, Sam, and Lila, and if we look at A, we got those three that we pulled out of it. So Splice is has a lot of different uses to it, but basically it allows you to get subsets of your data and to remove things and add things into the middle of your arrays. One thing to note about Splice is if you don't put in the amount, the number to delete, it will delete the rest of the array. So if I go to dogs.splice and put in array number just at number one, you'll see it returned Sam and Lila, and dogs now only has Max in it because the item it's index number one was Sam and it finished out the array. So if you don't put something for the second for the second number, the second argument in splice, it'll start wherever you tell it to, including that item, and get rid of everything else. In this video, we talked about several mutator methods on arrays. We talked about pop, which removes the last item in array. We talked about push, which adds an item to the end of an array. We talked about shift, which removes the first item. And we talked about unshift, which adds a first item and again, shifts everything down to the right. And then after all that, we talked about splice, which allows us to access items in the middle of arrays. The parameters for splice are the index to start with, how many you want to delete, and these two are required. And then optional additional items that you want to add on. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to help. Thanks.